Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about factoring by grouping and I have two examples for you today. So this first example says factor completely. Now when you're given a question that has four terms in it, that's usually a good sign that we're going to use factoring by grouping. So factoring by grouping is when you take the first two terms and GCF them and then you take the second two terms and GCF them. So what's the GCF of x to the third plus 6x squared? Well, the GCF of that would be x squared. And let's see what's left over when we divide both of those by x squared. x to the third divided by x squared would be x. And 6x squared divided by x squared would be 6. And now let's GCF both of those. Both of those numbers are divisible by 6. So let's GCF a 6 out. And what's left over that divided by, or sorry, by 16. Um, so when we divide that by 16, we get x. And when we divide that by ni not a 96 divided by 16, we get 6. That's where I got the 6 from earlier. And because that's a positive, let's put a plus sign in there. So your first step is to find the GCF of the first two terms, and then the GCF of the second two terms. And then now that we have this big old statement here, the last step of factoring by grouping, the stuff in the parentheses should be the same. And if they are, that's one of your factors. If they're not the same, then you need to go back and try again. You did something wrong. Factoring by grouping should always work out that the parentheses are the same. And then the other factor is the stuff in front of each parenthesis. Technically, x plus 6 is the GCF, and what's left over is what goes in the other parenthesis. Now this question says factor completely, and the reason they say that is sometimes after you're done doing this process, one of these parentheses or both of these parentheses might need to be factored some more. X plus 6 cannot be factored anymore. There's nothing that can go into it. There's, that's not a difference of two squares. Same with X squared plus 16. This looks like it could be factored. If that was a minus, we could use difference of two squares. But because it's a plus, there's nothing we can do to this. This is in simplest turn. So that's the answer for this first question. Let's take a look at the second example here. Factor completely 12x to the third plus 16x squared minus 75x minus 100. So same process here. Now, we could do GCF here first, right? All of these numbers are divisible by, well, um, 16, you know, maybe they're not divisible by anything. So you should always check to see if there's a GCF of everything first. Uh, in this case, there's not. So let's just jump right to factoring by grouping. What's the GCF of these two terms? That would be 4x squared. And what's left over when we divide both of them by 4x squared? We get 3x. And what's that divided by 4x squared? Well, 16 divided by 4 against 4. And the x squared divided by x squared, we don't need to write that. It's all done. And then the second 2 here, the GCF of both of those is uh, 25, right? They're both, if we're counting like quarters, 25, 50, 75, 100, 25 can go into both of those. So let's do a minus 25. They're both negative, so let's try a minus. And then let's see what's left over here. 3x minus 20, 100 divided by 25 is 4. Hey, look at that. We got our 3x plus. So, wait, this one's a plus 4, and this one's a minus 4, right? Um, no, it's a plus 4 because a negative times a positive would be the negative that we need. So that should be a plus 4. All right, now let's do our next step, which is the parentheses match, which means our two factors are the stuff in front of the parentheses and the stuff in the parentheses. And this question, we're not done. There's one more step here. This can be factored some more. This 3x plus 4 can't be factored. That's going to be part of our final answer. But this can be factored some more. That is a difference of two perfect squares. Remember, a difference of two perfect squares, we write a plus and a minus, and if everything's a perfect square and there's a minus inside, 
we just write everything twice. We write the square root of that twice, 2x. We write the square root of that twice, one of them's a plus and one of them's a minus. And then this third factor, which we couldn't do anything with, just gets brought down here. So that's part of our answer. This whole thing is our answer for this question. 2x plus 5, 2x minus 5, 3x plus 4. All right, that's factoring by grouping. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.